now today we will see some application part of vector algebra now here we are having this vector op that is nothing but our position vector r bar and then this is the vector as shown over here so this op which is the position vector or it is also known as r bar is having xi plus yj that is it will have some coordinates x y and i is the unit vector along x axis and j is the unit vector along y axis now the value of x is equal to r cos theta and value of y is equal to r sin theta therefore if we substitute these values of x and y then we'll get r cos theta i plus r sin theta j now v bar will be equal to d r bar by dt that is derivative of the position vector is nothing but the velocity vector so d by dt of r cos r cos theta i plus r sin theta j now we'll take this derivative sign inside now r is a constant so we'll have to differentiate cos theta with respect to t and sin theta with respect to t so this is r as it is derivative of cos theta i plus r as it is derivative of sin theta j derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta and again as we are differentiating theta with respect to t it is d theta by dt i as it is here also cos theta derivative of sin theta is cos theta d theta by dt and j So just the simple simplification over here. So this is minus r sin theta i plus r cos theta j and d theta by dt that is nothing but angular velocity. This is the rate of change of angular displacement and that is nothing but the angular velocity that is omega. now differentiating again with respect to t we'll get the acceleration vector so this is dv by dt or dv bar by dt that is nothing but derivative of this v bar that is this vector so for d theta by dt we have substituted the value of omega So now differentiate this term. So take this d by dt inside. So it is derivative of sin t, sin theta, and derivative of cos theta. Derivative of sin theta is nothing but cos theta d theta by dt as usual, and derivative of cos theta is nothing but minus sin theta d theta by dt as usual. So this is equal to. Minus r cos theta d theta by dt is omega, and again over here also d theta by dt is omega. So if you take omega and minus sign common, this omega is already there. So omega and this minus sign, then it will become minus omega square r cos theta i plus r sin theta j. So this is nothing but omega square into r. This is our r vector. So this is the second part. second equation that is the equation of the acceleration the negative sign indicates that the acceleration is directed towards the center now let us draw the position vector r bar having along any curve this is the direction r cap also and if we draw a perpendicular to this okay, then this is the transverse direction that is s cap so s cap denotes the transverse direction 
and this r bar is along r cap that is a radial direction so we have to find out the components of the velocity and acceleration along the radial and this transverse direction so s cap is the unit vector perpendicular to so this is 90 degree perpendicular to the r bar now here r cap is given by cos theta i plus sin theta j and s cap will be nothing but in place of theta we have to replace theta plus 90 or 90 plus theta because this s cap is leading this r cap or r bar by 90 degree now cos of 90 plus theta is minus sin theta and sin of 90 plus theta is cos theta Now we have to differentiate the r bar or rather r cap with respect to t. So this is derivative of cos theta plus derivative of sin theta. So this is minus sin theta into d theta by dt. That is nothing but omega. And this is derivative of sin theta is cos theta d theta by dt and g. So we'll write on this i over here. So if you take omega common it is sin theta i plus cos theta j. But this value is nothing but the value of s cap. So we can say that dr cap by dt is nothing but omega into s cap. Now we'll consider s cap and again differentiate with respect to t. So derivative of sin theta is cos theta into omega as usual and derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta into omega. So if you take minus sin and this omega common then it is cos theta plus sin theta. So this is minus omega this value is nothing but r cap. Now we know that the given vector can be represented in its magnitude as well as direction. So therefore velocity vector will be nothing but the displaced derivative of this displacement vector or position vector. So again, we'll use u into v rule over here. So u derivative of v plus v derivative of u. Now we'll substitute the values of this dr bar by dt. That is this particular value over here at this place. Okay. So that this is nothing but r and the value of d r bar by dt is s cap into omega rest of the terms as it is so we can rearrange the term first we'll write on this term and then we'll write on this term so this is the radial direction and this is the transverse direction so the this is the component of the velocity that is known as the radial component and this is the component of the velocity that is known as the transverse component. 